Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How you all getting on today? So if you remember last week, I did an unboxing for uh, the Lizardman Cold One, Lizardman Cold One Cavalry, which I now know are the so. Here we go again. Why does this name keep escaping me? Seraphon. Thanks, Banjo. You didn't remember. Seraphon Knights Trust. I think that name is is much nicer, Seraphon Knights. But anyway, I've got a few hours out here tonight. It is nighttime out in the hobby shed. Um, between college and family life, it's hard to get time to do anything. But I got a few hours out here tonight. I'm gonna build. There's eight in the box. I'm gonna build. Let me see. I have one guy already built, so I'm gonna build four more. And the reason I picked four is because I picked this up a while ago in a local hobby shop. It's the Games Workshop uh, Mixed Base Pack 2. Um, you get 35 by 60 mil. You get like oval, five oval ones, three big oval ones. Um, 25 millimeter and 40 millimeter bases. Now you get five of the oval ones that are suited for these. So that's why I'm wanting to build only four tonight. Because I have this guy already made. I showed that at the end of the video last week so I've only got four left to do until I get another packet of these bases and it's funny because there's another packet in the shop of these bases and I can't find them on the GW website 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 and I don't know why because this is such a good box because the big base the big massive oval one there I want to use that for a giant base and then like I could I need loads of small round bases anyway. So I don't know why they don't have this on their site anymore. But I'm going to pick up the other box in the shop anyway. So let's move the camera down. I have hey, all the sprues here. I'm going to clip everything off, clean it, gloom, and then I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So after what, what time did I start at? I think I started at about 5 to 10, it's about quarter past now. So about 20 minutes I got the four um, cold ones made and maybe if I just lower the camera a bit you might be able to see what I'm talking about here. These look so awesome by themselves. Um, you know, they look like they're dinosaurs, like they are, they're dinosaurs, they look so awesome like this, uh, without any riders, they went together pretty easily, I'm going to try and fix this light here, so we can get a better view, there we go, I think that's a bit better for you guys, so, um, yeah, they went together pretty easily, pretty quick actually, you know, 20 minutes to get 40s clipped off, cleaned and glued, it was okay, the only kind of trouble you have is, uh, let me see, where's the guy? Like here, you see the kind of skull hanging from the necklace there. You know, that really easily bends, so just be careful when you're kind of holding on to it. Um, but really, like, if you wanted to take these and just sculpt something around the seat there, because that's the only part that's really stopping it from being like a wild animal, apart from like the necklace thing and everything. And um, it'd be super awesome to have an army of just of these. I know you, can't, you, you used to be able to get just cold ones. The models, I don't know if you were ever able to just use cold ones themselves, but they're so cool, you know, they're dinosaurs, I still can't believe, like, fucking dinosaurs, <laughs> everyone should have these, um, yeah, it's so not bad, 20 minutes to do all them, so what I have to do now is get four riders clipped off the sprue, um, I think I'll do the banner guy, I won't do the musician, I'll just do the banner guy and three normal fellas. Because I like looking at the banner guys, they're all, they always kind of stand out. So, um, yeah, stay tuned.
Okay guys, so as you have seen, I got all the bits clipped off, I got them all cleaned and there are so many bits for the riders, I think there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on that one, so it, it, that definitely was the longest part, um, I started on two of them, I've used, I've used, uh, it's getting late and can't talk, as you have seen, I've like glued the legs part and I haven't put the body on yet. So it's time to take a little break, um, but hopefully I should be able to get through the rest of this pretty quick. Um, everything's, once everything's clipped off and cleaned, it's pretty straightforward after that. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. So finally, finally, I have them all put together. And I say that because putting the Seraphon guys themselves together was definitely the hardest part of uh, setting up this box. Um, let's zoom in instead of bring them closer. Here we go, look at this guy. This is one of the normal guys. Um, as you can see, surprisingly, I, the shield takes up so much to this side. So it's, that could be a little bit tricky to paint around. So what I did was instead of using plastic glue, I used super glue to glue that in. So hopefully I can just snap it off and then put it back on. Uh, to take it off just to just to paint it separately and to get into the harder parts. Um, it was just tricky to hold it into, into place when doing the bodies. Like the head was okay, it's just the arms really. The rest of it was fairly straightforward. Um, I like this guy's weapon, he has like a, I don't know, like a bat or a stick with a lot of claws or a lot of like sharp edges coming out of it. Uh, he looks pretty cool. The other option you do get is uh, spears and I don't think there's enough on the sprue or sprues to have all hand weapons. I think you have to have some some spears. Um, oh, there's a few more on that one. So maybe don't, maybe it could all just be hand weapons. Uh, this guy, I like this guy as well because this guy has like an axe um, and the colon has its mouth open so it looks like, it looks like it's shouting out as racing in the battle and then we have the standard bearer guy so you have two choices of uh, banner you get this one or where's the other one here it is it's a little bit smaller it's more of like a serpent type of thing uh, but I went for the bigger one. I think it's pretty cool. There's like the flames coming over its mouth and everything. So looking forward to painting these. God knows when I'm going to get around to it. Hopefully soon, because I want to keep the momentum going. You know, I've built these guys up, um, and I want to keep it going. I have like five of these built already. You know, if you remember, I had the other guy all built up and ready to go. And let me know what you guys think of these with. Um, the oval bases instead of the old rectangle like, ones. Let's have a look. Oh, they're the old ones and they're all ranked up and everything. And um, I think with the oval bases like this, they look way nicer. Um, gives a, it gives you a lot more freedom to mess around with the base because they don't, they don't have to be ranked up anymore. But I think the oval bases look really nice on it. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that. I think I've been out here for roughly, what was it? I think I came out here at five to 10. What time is it now? Check my phone. It's 11.45, so just under two hours. It's not bad, considering, you know, clipping everything off, getting them cleaned, glued, you know, four ain't bad, you know, that only leaves me with three. I can do them pretty quickly off camera, you know, but I'm happy to have most of the unit made. I can get a good look at them now. And start prepping for painting, that's going to be the fun part. Um, 
But thank you guys for watching and the most important part of these videos is the feedback from you guys. So make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit the like button and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.